All right, we're back. Okay, so that is quite a, a mechanism there. Yeah. Okay, so where's the lock at? I had a lock in my hand. Behind the flashlight. Stay on light. Okay, so that goes in there. Down deep. So this lever here, what's it supposed to do? See that thread, that doesn't make sense. That threads into the housing. What's the lever gonna do on the back side? solid up under there. I have no idea how that works. More interruptions. All right, leave back. All right, nobody was on the phone. All right, so before I can fix it, I gotta figure out how it works. So we're gonna reassemble it here a little bit. See if I can't figure out what the hell is going on here. I have no idea how this thing works, so this obviously screws down into that a little ways to that position, I'm guessing. Let's see, what was the key that we used? One of these worked, I guess. Yep, that's the one. that lever does it just spins across the bottom there's nothing there to hit unless there's something else hidden I don't know about which is quite possible because I don't know anything maybe that's what this thing is I don't know how this works. I think that, go, that goes inside of here. Okay, that's what that does. Must be a hole in the bottom. Yes. Okay, that goes through below. I have no idea how that, that lock works. I'm going to see what it does. First problem I'm going to do is get rid of the key on here because i got too many keys bothering me. There, now we're down to just one key. So when you lock it, what's it do? All it does is make a circle with that lever. Let's see what that does. see nothing. Now, this is below here. So, okay, that sticks through like that. It's a spring of some type. Oh, okay, this has threads up here. Okay, it doesn't go all the way through. So there's no way it could have do anything. So. It's probably screwed in about that far, maybe. Okay, so that goes in about flush. Okay. That makes way more sense. Okay, now that lever is going to work something on the other side. Pull 
pull that out. See, now it does something. So you rotate it, now it engages levers, which are sitting all through here. This is a deadbolt here. Buttons here go back and forth. Work this teeter totter. This lever here pushes. That's from the knob, obviously. You rotate this. This piece goes this way. Works the mechanism. It's time for a little special lube in here. That frees things up quite a bit. Definitely makes it work a lot freer. So when you push this pin in, that locks the hammer right there so it won't work. I don't know why that was so hard to work. I think it's just full of junk in there. So once again, we're going to lubricate stuff here a little bit. Sure hasn't been lubricated any time in the near future. Recent past, I should say. Probably a little grease in here wouldn't hurt. Okay, it's got them things kind of freed up a little bit. So this is our locking mechanism over here, I'm making a mess, I'm lubricating the door with fresh oil, it's alright, it needs it. So this goes through this mechanism here, so that's supposed to engage in something that's disengaged right now I'm guessing. for that to be on there. We just got to figure out what the reason is. Okay, that square engages in that square, obviously. There's a pin down there. Had to be something it engaged in. All right. So that engages in that pin right there. Okay. This has a cutaway in here like it locks into that or something. Not sure what that does. I 
This looks pretty worn up here. But it might supposed to be that way, I don't know. Okay, so screwdriver. Disengaged it. Not sure what that does. Okay, this was in here. So I think the first thing we need to do is to get some grease in here and lubricate things so we can see how they're supposed to work. All this mechanism in here is dry, which makes it not work. Okay, this screw over here looks like it's some kind of an adjustment here. I wasn't sure what this screw right here did. It's adjusting this piece here to in and out. So that's going to make something work or not work. Ah, oh, that's this piece here, I bet. That's probably what that engages into. Okay, so when you put this together, you have to have this key in here, so this is free to rotate around, I guess. Yeah, see how it's free to rotate? So as you screw this down, it's engaged into that. If it's not engaged into that, it'll never work. And this here, you adjust it back and forth to whatever it needs to be. That's how you set this, that's how you adjust it. Pretty fancy. And you see, I was turning the knob and nothing was happening over here. I didn't know what it did. See, look at that. See how it adjusts it? That's what it does. So the reason that didn't work was because somebody probably wasn't engaged and then it was out of adjustment. So these things aren't super critical. It's just a bunch of levers, but it is pretty complicated on how everything works, but it's pretty simple also. So this is just like working on an old early 30s Harley ignition switches. You know, these little levers and stuff that flip flop all over the place. And, makes a difference now this here is obviously made out of something else and it's it has to stay down to be engaged why not it flips up on you which means it probably rubs in here it doesn't look like it probably doesn't move very much okay I'm gonna go get me some tribodine grease I'm gonna lubricate all of these parts in here and try to put it back together and see if it works I don't see anything that's really wrong with it. It's probably dry and misadjusted. Alright, we'll be back. Okay, we're back. I only got my tribodine heavy duty grease. This is definitely a performance application here, so we want the best. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is start disassembling some stuff here a little bit. Take some stuff apart. Figure how it all works. We got plenty of opportunity to put things in wrong. Like I'm already doing wrong. Which way did this go? <laughs> this goes like that. Okay, so the key on this stuff is lay it out exactly how it came off. That came from there. See, it just has all pivot points is all it got. All it has, not gots. Gots is not a good word to use. Okay, so this here has to just pop out, I'm sure. There we go. It looks like it's in there straight. 
right. This piece comes out. Goes inside of that piece. Okay, we already have this one up. So I gotta clean the oil off of this that I put on here. We'll put grease on here instead. Oil works really good initially, but grease is what it takes to make the stuff live. Just like that. Yeah, I gotta pick out here where that goes. Lay that over there. Okay, this looks like it might be peened in right now, but I'm not sure. Okay, this piece here probably comes out next. That way though. Okay, that goes right there. Okay, we have to slide our workstation down a little bit. We have expansion room here on our, on our door. Okay, so this piece here is next. Okay, this piece over here. Okay, this is there. And a piece. Cleaned up. Imagine trying to find this stuff on eBay. <laughs> I need a new lever for my 1913 lower lock mechanism. Lever number B34. <laughs> you happen to have one. That ought to get you some funny comments. <laughs> In a reverse order how you lay it comes out okay now this piece here it does just come up there we go surprisingly all this stuff looks pretty good concerning it hasn't been lubricated in uh, probably 50 probably 100 years Last time was really lubricated. Yeah, I know I was in it a while ago, so. I don't remember all these parts, so. Yeah, that one doesn't want to slide off. Hmm. Why will not fall off? Must be peened. Yeah, must be peened. Put that piece separate. Okay, what else is going to come out of here? There's a washer right there. So you see steel on a piece of that's cast bronze or whatever that's made out of, brass or something. When you see something shiny, it probably didn't come with it. Okay, this screw does not want to come out of here, so I'm all right with leaving it. That spring just fell out right there flat spring. It'd be fun to make that piece, I'm sure. See, that's the part that will rust and break over time. Goes right there. Make sure it goes down there. Okay, I think we got everything out that comes out. Right. Okay, I'm going to go clean this up. I'll be back.